So now that I have that JPEG file there, let's do step two, which is we're going to work with Adobe Premiere. So I already have Adobe Premiere open, and so I have to, to create a new project. So I'm going to hit File, New, and I'm going to pick Project. And I'm going to browse uh, to the folder that, that I want to work in. So for me, on the desktop, I have a folder called Second Time, and that's that just happens to be where I saved all those video and image files. So I'm going to select that folder, and I'm going to name it uh, Career Pathways TV Broadcast. So I'm just going to give it a nice name there in that folder. And I'm going to have to move this, and then I'm going to hit OK. So now we have created our uh, our first project with Adobe Premiere with regard to Career Pathways. So as this is loading, um, some of you might open up Adobe Premiere, and it'll look like this. It'll have this learning module thing there. To get rid of it, you just simply click on the tab called Editing, and now that is gone. So. Just to recap, if you don't want to see the learning tab, you have to click editing and uh, that will go away. And that gives us our quadrant look for um, for this project. So the first thing on the agenda is I'm going to import different pieces one at a time. I'm not going to import uh, every picture that I could possibly use because I'm not going to use every picture. Uh, I'm not going to put in every video clip. Uh, because I, I don't know that I'm going to use the, there's about 39 photos in that folder. I'm only going to pick uh, one thing at a time. So step one of our project is I'm going to keep my cursor over here to the left in the media browser, and I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to hit the import button. When I hit import, uh, it already I have to navigate to uh, the folder where I'm storing my stuff. And the first thing that I wanted to import was this JPEG image uh, because that's going to be the introductory slide uh, when we when we actually create this timeline. So I'm going to hit open and there it is. The other thing then is notice it's in the project uh, browser over here, the media browser, and uh, but that doesn't mean it's part of our project yet. The next thing I'm going to import is the interview. And I need the interview because that's the timeline of the entire video. Like the, the timeline uh, that I'm looking for in this video is the interviews you do with the teachers should come to about two and a half, three minutes at most, and really would, would like to veer on the side of shorter. Um, so I have an interview, and it actually was good enough to use for this, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to import that video that I have there called Interview Take Two. So I'm going to open that up. So I have two items in the media browser, and the first one I'm going to put in is going to be the Interview Take Two. And you're like, well, why would you do that? Well, let me explain. Whatever you put into the timeline first is the is what the settings of the entire project is going to be. If I put that photograph in first, that isn't the right size or the aspect ratio that I'm looking for, or the right uh, you know number of frames per second, all that stuff. So I'm going to pick the interview first, and I'm going to click it and drag it into the timeline. And when I did that, you probably noticed that the video is posted right here. Um, there's your preview. Um, but I'm actually going to move the clip a little bit over to the right. And the reason I want to do that is I want to leave some space. The second thing then I'm going to put into the media browser then, or into the timeline, is this, this JPEG file. I'm going to click and drag it into that little slot right there. Now, I have to zoom in, so I'm going to use these little guides here. And I'm zooming in, and now I'm going to slide this right next to that. And if you notice, this uh, presentation isn't big enough. This JPEG file isn't big enough. So in order to get that correct, I have to change its size. And there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, the easy way I'm going to show you is if you click on it and you right click, 
if you um, right click and you get this long um, menu, if you just hit scale to frame size, it automatically makes it fit the project's settings. Um, so that is the easy way to do it. There's another way that I'm going to teach you later on how to resize uh, picture files, but that's going to be the best one. So let's kind of preview what we have in our timeline by just hitting the play button. So there's, we see that the video is there. So that's half the battle is now that we have the interview in, this video is going to come to about three minutes and 10 seconds total. But those are the first two items that you definitely have to have in. Uh, we haven't uh, applied any transitions between things yet, and we're going to wait to do that. But that was step two.